Hello Capricorn, I am Melinda Nail Fanatic and I am here to do your June 2016 reading. And so I want to thank you while I do this shuffling here. I'm doing a four card desire spread. And then I'll pull from a separate deck one advice card. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for telling your friends. Thank you for uh, watching the previous videos because some of those will apply to you, some of you now. Um, thank you for getting uh, to be part of the Periscope live audience that I do from time to time. Maybe at some time my life will allow me to schedule a day and time that I do that but at this point it's just sort of random so subscribe and um, ask for the notifications to be sent to you for Periscope for your opportunity to join in that live interactive audience. I put my energy into these readings so that I might deliver you the messages that are tr true and accurate and clear as I'm able to receive them and you do so by liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to the work that I do. Um, if you would like to request your own reading, please feel free. And um, the information is on the screen there. And I'm just going to pull for f three more cards. We've got the first one showed itself on its, on its own. So I'll pull for three more cards for you. June 2016. When you request a reading, it's done by donation. I reciprocate back to you according to what you've donated. And so it's affordable for all people. The question you must ask yourself when deciding how much to donate for your reading is how valuable is this information to you? because I will reciprocate back to you the energy that you give to me. And thank you for donations. I randomly received donations from you grateful beings on the other end of my YouTube broadcast, and that is so great, greatly appreciated by my family and I. I'm just looking for two more cards. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut the deck and pull the last two off the top. And then, before I get into the reading, let's do the one advice card. What you have? Liar, cheat, thief card? For somebody? For somebody else? No information and running off to go use it. Leaving the lies and deceit behind. What you desire, page of wands, action, growth, new course. Pages are messengers. You want to receive messages about passions, messages about projects. messages about opportunities what you need is to be walking with somebody that is something you want to be what you get 
It's not time to begin yet. You get to hold on. There's a new beginning coming in, but it's not now. Hold on. The advice, high priestess, know thyself. This woman stays alone by herself and she has one job. It is to receive information. This is your advice. It's time for you to begin to do these things. Finding the balance between light and dark aspects in things is something that you will understand, receive, and begin to do as you quiet yourself, center yourself, and follow that intuition. Intuition is very strong. Follow your intuition. If you have had this liar, cheat, thief person around you, you knew that. Follow your intuition. What does it say you should do? Should you say some messages about taking some action? Like, you know what? You're not really welcome here. You should leave. Does it have messages of action about, you know what? I think I got some place better to be. I'm going to go. Does is it have messages of action for you about, you know what? There's a better way to do this and a better way to see this and there's a truer truth for me so I'm going to follow that now what you need this is very interesting this card upright signifies a lack of spirituality but we're talking about what you need it's not a lack of spirituality we need an abundance of spirituality we need to get into our spiritual self we need to follow our intuition we need to allow that soul self to speak out and we need to yoke ourselves to the things that we want to be like we want to live like uh, be very deliberate and picky about what we're bringing into our life and um, don't walk back into a bad situation walk out of it or maybe for some of us we need to walk back into a bad situation maybe um, we took a decision and it is leading us back into the same old situation and so it's the same old beginning as it was before it's not a new beginning it's an old beginning the old beginning is the same old thing all over again you have the knowledge right in your hand you know what you need to do Follow it. Follow that intuition. It's guiding you. Listen to that inner voice. It is the strongest thing. It is the most beneficial thing. You've just left something behind. Let it be there. We don't want to run into the same start going back to the same thing that we are so happy to have let go of and pick up this new thing. It could be religious. This could be a religious reading. Somebody is learning learning the truth about energy and connection and learning that these readings are beneficial and quite divine and quite right to aid us and beginning to take action in that looking into it some more and leaving the religions alone the, the, the mainstream religions leaving that alone and pulling out of that and um, 
just wanting this new beginning and, and, and a new understanding, a new belief system, a new knowing. Following this inner guidance is so very important. Knowing the connection between the planetaries and the self. Understanding that by this inner knowing, we are in charge of even the moon at our feet. Somebody's got a liar, cheat, thief around them, though, and this person, they're looking at all that has happened. I feel like you're sitting here looking at, like, this person really did this, that, and the other, and you're like, okay, okay. They think I don't know. They really think that I don't know. They think they're being sneaky, but I'm well aware of everything that's going on. And while you've been hanging tough with this person, you've been hanging tough with this person. Maybe your situation isn't even all that great. Your situation ain't that great financially either right now. You could grow or you can go backwards towards trying to hold on to every little penny you get. But I feel like with this person, you're like, I know exactly what's been going on. And it's time for you to go be miserable by yourself because I'm progressing and you're going backwards. So you got to go by yourself. I'm not going with you. So you know what, honey? You got to go. Bye. I'm going to put your fire right out. That's, oh, wow. And it's based on, you know something. You know. You know that you know. Mm. That was very, very strong. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Love, peace, and happiness to you and yours, and of course me and mine. Until next time.